Well, we have made our way back to Wheel Antiques. It has been a week and I have regrets. <laughs> there are some things that I passed over that I feel like I probably should have picked up. And so we're back today to collect those items that I was editing the video and I thought to myself, I should have grabbed that. Um, so <laughs> my regret has brought us here, um, but we're gonna go in and see what we can find that we can buy and flip for a profit. So here we go. Well, here we have a mug for $16. Um, this is the same maker of the mug that I considered the other day for Andrew. Um, I think that one was $85. They've got 16 bucks on this, and it has these two doves on it. Um, I'm really not sure. Oh, it's left-handed. That may be why it's cheaper, because it's left-handed. I mean, I don't really pay attention to which side the handle is on, because I like to hold the mug anyway. Um, to keep my fingers warm, <laughs> but uh, $16, even for a left-handed mug. I really love the design of it. Uh, we'll grab this for $16. Um, I'm searching this booth here. We uh, touched this booth briefly the last time, but not enough, clearly, because look at this little thing in here. <laughs> Those are little weirdos. <laughs> that one looks like mistletoe, and that one is holly leaf. Um, they've got some nice pieces in here. I think I'm pretty pleased with this though. So the next uh, booth over is the one where we found the pixies, that uh, big pixie the last time. So we're gonna check this out. This bear is delightful. Look at his little felt hat and uh, musical teddy bear. Well, I can't read that, but this is German. Oh, he's very sweet. Oh, Herman, the happy wanderer. <laughs> he does look very happy. And I love the flowers on his scarf. Uh, a couple putts houses. And uh, we're going to check some of the baggies today because I really wasn't all that committed to digging through um, their baggies the last time we were here. We have a whole bunch of little clamshell uh, ornaments and figurines and all sorts of stuff in here. So I figured, you know what? Maybe we should. Little figurines. Oh, these guys are neat. I saw those last time. Um, <laughs> they, don't, they don't look really like little elves. They look more like little demons. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm not going to dig all the way to the bottom there, but I did notice that they've loaded some new stuff up on the shelf. The last time we were here, we got the little girls with the geese. Uh, now it looks like these guys are, are new. I don't know. I don't remember seeing them. $32 for the little elves there, but I, I need to... I need to stop buying Christmas because we've kind of we're kind of at our limit. This one wasn't here the last time. This one actually matches the other ones that we picked up. Possibly it was on a different shelf and I didn't notice it. Um, but we picked up all the other ones. We might as well pick up this one for eight dollars. I don't see any others that specifically match this, so um, I guess she goes with the other ones. Looks like the owl mug sold. That was one that I was admiring the last time we were here. Uh, the wolf and the horse are still here. I noticed this guy, which I didn't see the last time. He is Artisanio Rinconada Kitty Cat for $24. 20% um, off all of the things. I feel like a cat would be pretty desirable as far as Artisanio Rinconada. So um, we will grab the cat, whereas we left the moose and the toucan last week. Um, I'm all about that cat, especially at 20% off. This back hair is just absolutely stunning. And I'm not talking about the little girl, I'm actually talking about whatever that is behind her. Uh, I'm not sure if I can maybe move this here. Then we can get a closer look at this. Um, this is, is it marked? A most unusual vase. I believe it's Dresden. It doesn't appear to be a lot of damage on it either. I'm going to um, turn off the camera and turn it around because um, I feel like if I'm using one hand, I might drop it. <laughs> well, I noticed um, that it was actually turned around, and this seems to be the front front side of it. Um, there's a giant rose, which surprisingly doesn't have any detectable damage on it. Um, the leaves are all in good condition, and even the flowers. I'll tell you what, though, to pick it up, um, these, <laughs> these little flowers are very sharp on the hand so that's why I'm balancing it here um, and I'm afraid to pick it up by the handles it's just very sharp I think they have $98 on it 
And um, I don't know who makes it, but I feel like it's worth more than that. I've just got a feeling about this piece. So, <laughs> I'm going to take it with me. And um, I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure I'm going to get some complaints about shipping it, but um, it's just such an, an amazing piece, the detail um, and the work that went into it. So it is signed on the bottom, um, but they say they think it might be Dresden. So uh, it could be. We'll bring it up front. The piece that I regretted not buying is still here. It's this Lundberg Studio Paperweight here. Um, now, I looked up comps as I was editing the video, and they sell upwards of $200. Um, they had $75 on this, and I was just hesitant because I didn't know it that well. Now, I did find another one that actually had a bat in the sky, and that one sold for way more but this one doesn't appear to have a bat um, I do want to get it out I am taking it with me today um, it's got the moon and stars um, similar to the other paperweight we had recently but that was a different maker so I'm gonna grab this Lundberg studio paperweight and take that with us today because that's pretty much the reason we're here <laughs> and then let's see if there is anything else um, that catches my eye while I'm looking through I mean there was some fantastic stuff in this case last week um, that bottle right there is art glass bottle 25 that's only 25 dollars and i like the colors on that we've got this enamel <laughs> piece that's interesting it's a salt um a salt cellar and a, a mushroom there that's 110 dollars um we got the owl out of here last week and uh, that sold pretty quick um, it was the Stein Owl, and that sold for $250. It's just like being at home with this train, I'm telling you. And that sold for $250, and we paid $125 for it. Um, so, oh, look, 15% off. Well, there you go. So, the paperweight's a no-brainer. <laughs> I noticed this perfume bottle down here. It is a Fenton perfume bottle. They've got $69 on it, though. Oh, man, that's a bummer. Well, it's not a bummer, but I was hoping that it was a little bit within my price range because I think it's a beautiful perfume bottle. Got lots of jewelry and clothing here in this booth. Got all of these glass Christmas trees. <laughs> this one has an interesting looking base. Um, it says 10 inch crystal tree. You see this one's got this um, circle base. The rest are don't. And this one looks to be hand blown. Whereas the others, I think, are primarily, this one might not be, um, the others look to be more blown in mold, because you can see a mold seam here. Um, it's 20 or $35, though. If it had colors to it, if it was ornate, I would probably consider that. Um, let's see what else we can find here. This is a fun kitty cat. <laughs> That's a really neat looking parrot in there. Oh, it actually looks like it had a blue center uh, when it was reflecting the glasses back there, but it's just a clear parrot. Parrots are meant to be colorful. Oh, here we have some Turtle Creek pottery. Uh, covered crock, $75. We've done well with Turtle Creek pottery in the past. Uh, and when we were in Ohio, we saw a lot of it. I don't know if it's native to native. I don't know if it comes from Ohio or not. Um, but this is a really neat piece. I love the little lamb on top. Um, and it might be worth looking this up. Because I'm not real familiar with the Turtle Creek stuff. But I think our last piece sold for 300 and something dollars. So, I'm going to look this up. I was surprised at how hard it is to look up Turtle Creek pottery. All eBay was giving me was plates. And I know they make a lot more than plates. Um, they make face jugs and all sorts of stuff. Um, so... Uh, this is $75. Uh, for the majority I saw selling for over 100 if I could find them. And um, that's not a huge profit, but the potential for it to go for more than 100 um, I'll at least get my money back and have the opportunity to sell this adorable little sheep. So, I think maybe I will, um, I will give this a chance. I didn't actually venture into this booth the last time we were here. Um, there was somebody in here, and I didn't really want to bother them with my filming, but I just noticed this Gustavsburg uh, vase. Um, this is the Argenta, which is, means it's got this silver on it, and it's got this awesome fish. Now, this is 180 I think it's a little bit out of our price range to buy and flip for a profit, but I love finding these pieces, and I try to buy them when I can, but today just is not our day to buy that. <laughs> 
Okay, well, Andrew just called me and I was on the phone with him, but I was walking by this stand over here and spotted this art glass uh, for $22. It's a beautiful art glass um, piece. I don't think it's an apple. I think it might be a peach, but it's got the flattened edge on both sides, so you could display it either way. It's just absolutely stunning, and $22 is a great deal on that. Um, I did check out over behind it to see if there was anything else um, that caught my eye. There's some nice pieces in here, but I think this is really what I'm after. So we're going to head up to the checkout now. Um, they're getting ready to close, and I don't want to be the last one here. I forgot this piece. <laughs> this was one of the other pieces I was regretting. I, was, I just happened to be walking by and glimpsed it, and I'm like, wait a second. I forgot about you. Um, Andrew actually gave me a piece very similar to this for Christmas a few years ago, and it was blue and green, and, um, I really, I really liked this piece. I don't know why I left it the last time. It's only $25, uh, but I love the colors. I love the shape of it, this, the heavy gold, um, so we're gonna take this up front with us, too. Well, it is the next day. And I am here at the shop. Um, I must say that I left Wheel Antiques last night with more regrets than I had when I got there. Um, I was able to um, obtain all of the items that I was looking for. But I made a mistake. And I wanted to relate this to you because I feel like there's a lesson in all of it. Um, I was in the checkout line waiting to get a key and there was a young woman in front of me with her daughter and she was trying to buy a Christmas tree and she had all of these other things on the counter and she was kind of debating the items that she had up on the counter and setting a few aside saying, you know what, I don't need this. I don't need this for myself. I'll come back for it. And then, um, and then she asked what her total was and they gave her her total and she pulled a few more items away and then um the daughter the daughter was really excited about this tree and she went to go bring her card up and it was declined and you, I could tell she was embarrassed um and then she ran her card again she said you know it shouldn't be declined let's try it again uh, it was declined a second time and I was standing there waiting for the key and I thought to myself you know what it's Christmas I should I should step up I should I should pay for her Christmas tree but it was quite a bit of money. It wasn't it wasn't a cheap Christmas tree, and so I thought to myself, I need to call Andrew first before I just jump on this and you know pay for this. So I walked away. I called Andrew, and um, Andrew was like, "Well, you know, if it's the right thing to do, if you feel like you need to do it, do it." And this young woman reminded me so much of myself, and I think that's why, like, I just I I needed to do it. Because she reminded me so much of me. You know, she had a young daughter. She was struggling. And I had been there once. And I should have just stepped up. Because when I got up to the checkout, after talking to Andrew, I asked, you know, the young woman was gone with her daughter. And I asked, is she coming back? You know, and they said she had gone to the bank to get cash. But since she wasn't back yet, they didn't expect she'd be coming back. I said, well, can I pay for it? Just in case she comes back. <laughs> and, um, you know... The, odds, the chances of her coming back after being embarrassed were very slim. Um, and the vendor who actually had the tree in her booth was there, and she told me um, she overheard the discussion between the daughter and the mother, and the, the mother was like, well, if we get this tree, you're not going to get as many Christmas presents this year. And so, like, I just had a meltdown. <laughs> I had a complete nutter melt. I was, like, sobbing in my car. Like, I don't know. I just, like, I felt like I should have stepped up and not hesitated. And so um, I think the lesson in that is that if you have an opportunity to do something kind and nice for someone this holiday season, um, just do it. <laughs> don't hesitate like I did because I was a mess last night. I cried the whole way home. I just... That was a moment of regret for me when I should have done something and I didn't. Um, and I don't have very many moments like that. I mean, the paperweight is one thing, but that, you know, I don't need that. And I needed to do this. And I didn't. And I dropped the ball. And I'll probably never see or hear from that young woman again because I didn't get her name. I didn't even step up when I should have. And uh, that's the moral of today's story is that if you have the opportunity, even if it's not Christmas time, you know? 
Anyway, we are back at the shop this morning. I had tried to film an intro last night, and I was just like a slobber. You guys have already seen me cry once, so like it wouldn't have been a big deal, but I'm like, I really don't want to be crying when I... Right now, you know, I'm getting a little emotional about it, but um, we're at the shop now. I have to unload all of the stuff that I got on my recent trip to Allentown, um, which was really three videos. It was... Um, it was the Goodwill video, and then um, we visited the antique mall um, with all the fancy glass and um, the, uh, the one across the street. So we visited a few different places, and I've got all of that in the back of the truck. Um, I have to bring it in this morning and unload it. Um, I think it's like 8.40, 8.40 in the morning. Um, so nobody's here yet, but we're going to go in um, and start unloading stuff for them to get to work on listing it. So that's the plan for Day and I'm going to bring you guys in and show you how I'm organizing this these items on the shelf. Okay, well, I am currently unpacking everything from Hamburg Antique Center. Um, and I have to say, they wrapped this stuff so well and secure. Um, it's very much appreciated. Look at that. Bubble wrap and newspaper. You don't get that treatment everywhere. That's really nice. Um, so I have moved a bunch of stuff off of this shelf. Moved it down to this shelf. Um, I'm going to put the top priority up here because that video is going out today. Um, so I'm going to try to uh, have them list this stuff today. And then work their way down the shelf. And as a reminder, the bottom shelf is buy it now. These JF Long pieces do better buy it now than they do auction. Um, we did have a beautiful butterfly one sell for like 200 and something at auction, but I'm just really not sure um, how the market is. It is Pennsylvania folk art, so it's kind of uh, specific to our area, the people that collect it. So, um, yeah, let's keep going through the boxes. I just pulled out this blue fairy light, and it actually had it wrapped in tissue paper, which is fantastic because glass with this satin finish has a tendency to get the newspaper transfer. Um, so she used... Oh my god, I just, like, I'm so obsessed with this wrapping. It's so fantastic. All right, well, I wanted to show you guys how well these cleaned up um, with a magic eraser. Just used a magic eraser on them. They were very um, scuffed, and because they're white matte, they just... <laughs> They, they looked kind of sad, um, but now, super shiny. I was able to get, um, this one had a weird square there on the corner that I think was probably from an old sticker, but it came off with the magic eraser. So I think they look a zillion times better. And I just absolutely love those pieces. Um, the white, in, I guess I gotta get the back still. Um, the white in contrast with the gold and the silver is just stunning. I mean, maybe that's more of a copper, but um, I love these pieces. Well, I think I told you in one of my videos that my mom got a new dog. Because um, she had two of her dogs, her two dogs died within a month of each other. So um, she got a new dog and she brought the dog here today. So I'm going to show all of you. Hey, Myrtle. Hi. Hello. I know you're nervous. You've never been here before. <laughs> new shop dog. Do you want to be our mascot? You could be our mascot. That would be fun. Go for a walk? Yeah. Go up to the car and I'll give her some water. Yeah, come on. Come on, Randall. Come on, Randall. I'm coming. <laughs> well, I went ahead and unloaded all of my stuff from yesterday onto the shelves designated either buy it now or auction. Um, I did pull out those really nice vases that I bought from Hamburg Antique Center. Um, they were stunning pieces. I paid up for those. Um, I think they cost average between $120 and $140 each. Um, but looking at them, I think they might be Let's, Lotes, Loets, <laughs> and also Kralik. Um, so there's two really good vases there. The third one was signed BT on the bottom, and I'm having a hard time finding that maker. Um, but if that happens to be the case, that those are the makers, they could sell really well. So, um, that being said, <laughs> um, I think I'm going to end the video here. I'm going to do a little bit more research on my vases uh, before I list them, and those will be going up by it now. Um, 
once I get an idea for what they are worth. And I always try to price my stuff competitively. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it was kind of a shorter video. We, uh, we went antique mall shopping and uh, then we hung out here at the shop for a little bit. Um, but I've got to go donate some stuff to our local Salvation Army. I've got a few boxes that are auction extras that I'd like to drop off there. And then I'm going to head to Goodwill, I think, um, before Ashton's orthodontist appointment this afternoon. So I guess I will see all of you tomorrow. So long. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description.